hello everyone and welcome to a new video today's video is gonna be about uh, beating Yagloth the fifth boss in Valheim so Yagloth is a really really tough uh, boss here and I finally figured a way to do it so first of all I built a base underneath the uh, Yagloth um, arena here as you can see underneath I have a teleporter, I have a bed, and I have a chair, table, and rag on the ground so that, you know, I get the rested buff. And a stone cutter, and a workbench as well, so if I want to, like, craft something or repair something, uh, this is my base. And I'm using a full Fenris armor, which is resistant to fire and gives me a speed, uh, flesh rippers, also with the Fenris armor I have bread, uh, fish wraps and uh, Lux meat pie as my food to give me maximum health and some stamina fire resistance barley wine and uh, health and re uh, stamina meads I have 20 of these uh, meads and you need 5 totems to uh, summon the boss you need 20 of these meads, uh, stamina and health meads, because they're, uh, you're going to be using a lot of them. They only last for 2 minutes, and they're definitely needed for this boss fight. So make sure to bring... Uh, I used 12 during this boss fight, but we might use 20. And I raised these uh, structures using a hoe, the raising uh, function of a hoe. I made these structures here so I can hide behind them and so that uh, Yagloth can't see me and will stop his attacks until I regen my health and stamina. So calling the uh, boss now, Yagloth, you just put the five totems that you get from the fueling villages and Ichthyr ability definitely uh, needed So when he's spawning out of the ground like this, start hitting him. You see how much damage we're doing. We're doing a lot of damage to him already. So I tested all types of arrows and all types of... Uh, uh, oh no, that's a death mosquito. Okay, we killed one. And the second one we need to kill it. Because that's not good. The death mosquito is going to ruin everything now. Oh, look at this. He's just draining our health down. So you can kill it easily. Just uh, parry it and hit it just like this. And it will die. And now just keep going around these structures, hiding from him, uh, regenerating your stamina. Go from behind. As long as you're away from his tail, his blue orb attack is not going to hit you, but when he raises his left hand, just run as fast as you can. <laughs> yeah, because all these uh, meteors come from the sky and uh, burn you to death. So make sure to keep taking your meads, your stamina and health meads. Then go back again and keep hitting him. So you can get like 5-6 hits and then with the, uh, you know, as long as, uh, once he raises his right hand, just run away. So that's, uh, his left hand, I mean. So that's his left hand. That means there's a, a meteor shower. Fire shower that he's gonna burn us with. And as you can see, just hide behind these, and he's not gonna see you. So he's not gonna use his abilities continuously and you regen your uh, stamina and health okay the right attack so the right hand is not really that dangerous so you can uh, actually go in and hit him once he raises his left hand make sure you have like uh, a, at least a quarter of your stamina left so you can run away and the cool thing about the Fenris armor 
is that it gives you speed so you have a lot of uh, speed boost and uh, we're not using any swords or uh, shields or anything that will slow us down or decrease our speed so and we're using the meads and the uh, stamina meads and the ichthyr power so all of that together will give you very high mobility to run away when he raises his right hand and keep hitting him uh, before that so so his right hand we can handle as you can see we can handle the damage when our health is full but the left hand once he raises just run 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 <laughs> And as you can see, these structures that we made uh, using the hoe, raising uh, the ground f uh, with the hoe, they're not destructible because uh, they're considered from the environment. So they do protect us from these meteors because all the other stones around him, around this arena, got broken because and turned into stone because the he destroys stone I mean any structure that we we're gonna build he's gonna destroy it easily but with uh, raising the ground like this we can hide behind it and he can't see us and he stops using our his attacks and it protects us from uh, his fire attack this one as you can see it gives us a chance to run away easily and regen and go hit him again so I died once during this fight and I went back and teleported not teleported sorry respawned on the bed and came back and took my gear naked without anything <laughs> So that's included in the video, it's going to be in the video, I didn't cut it, so you can see like what, what to do when if you die, so you know, it's not easy not to die in this fight really. Like you know, I used the, I tried the sword, uh, silver sword, and the black metal sword, I tried the, uh, they're good they're not bad they're the best actually to use after the uh, flesh rippers that I'm using so but the problem with them is that they slow you down so they decrease your speed but with these flesh rippers they they're just uh, awesome really just full Fenris armor it has resistance against fire gives you plus nine I think or so uh, on speed and these flesh rippers they're just uh, excellent you get a boost on their damage you can see that their damage is really good so now our health is 14 we gotta go hide here <laughs> and regen our health so this is why we have a base here Just regen our health and stamina and retake our potions. So, our potions, health, and stamina potions. I wish I added the uh, fire uh, here so I can get my rested bonus. I definitely forgot to do that, but maybe uh, there's not going to be a next time next time is going to be the queen in the mistlands i guess <laughs> probably not going to do this one again so look at this meteor showers fireballs from the sky yeah this boss is definitely not easy so now when he's away like he's really far away uh, you can try and shoot him with uh, frost arrows. Frost arrows are the only ones that, you know, damage him. Uh, decent, you know, like give you decent damage. 
but from a distance as you can see they they really do nothing as well and if you want to go with the route of just uh, killing him with frost arrows uh, that's gonna take maybe an hour or so <laughs> I, I think because look at look at the damage I mean they're not doing that much damage at all so but it's a it's a possibility when he gets away from you for uh, you know far away but this is the purpose of these raised uh, structures is that you can stay close and at the same time you hide from him you're not visible to him and you're close to him you know and he's not gonna damage you that much so and look how much damage we're doing I mean the, these rippers are uh, definitely much better than any other weapon in the game against Yaglif so they, they are definitely his weakness they're better than the silver sword and the uh, black metal sword and forget about using a shield really because uh, it, it's just not effective it just slows you down and it's not it's not effective against his uh, attacks he's got really you know strong attacks that you know no shield can withstand really so there we go so we're getting like maybe 300 damage each time we go and uh, hit him in total so we get like 50, 50, then 100, and then 50, 50, and 100. So that's almost 400 damage per attack. I tried to get, uh, you know, uh, hit him from his back so that maybe we can get the 3x uh, damage. Now uh, here I got stuck underneath him and lost my stamina, all my stamina and <laughs> I died <laughs> so yeah don't lose your stamina you gotta keep some stamina uh, when he raises his uh, uh, left hand a quarter at least so you can run away so now I'm butt naked, <laughs> respawned at my bed, and I'm going to go grab my stuff. He's still there, but I'm going to use the sneak uh, strategy to grab my stuff. So he's right there. He's going to come uh, towards me now. Look at him <laughs> playing hide and hide and seek with Yaglif. <laughs> That's definitely not fun. So I just run to my stuff, grab everything, and as you can see, uh, the luck spies are still there, and we're overweight because we picked up all the stone from the ground that he's breaking. So the first thing I equipped was the belt. Throw that, throw away the stone, and eat everything. And let's go look for our luck spies, and wear our armor too. Takes time to wear the armor, so this is uh, really good to have these pillars to hide uh, behind until you wear your armor. Equip my flesh rippers also. And let's grab the pies. Look, we picked up more stone. So yeah, picking up stone is it's, it's going to fill up your inventory with, uh, with stone from the ground. It's really, uh, you know, annoying because he breaks everything. Like all these giant stones over the uh, uh, arena. He just breaks them with his, uh, you know, fire uh, meteors. So, left hand, run. 
<laughs> you learn something, I guess, the hard way. So, you know, like, uh, yeah, you gotta keep some stamina. Sometimes you get greedy and you wanna, I wanna hit him some more, you know? But then I just think about it and yeah, I'd rather stay alive and hit him less, you know? Than dying, so. So yeah, this blue orb attack, when your health is full, just keep hitting him. Take the damage and then run. There we go. As you can see, there these uh, fireballs are being blocked by our structures here. They definitely help. And the meads have one second left. They're done now. Stamina and health meads, so keep taking them. Since they only last two minutes, so take them and uh, make use of them. Go attack while you can. There we go. So you get like six to seven hits almost. Then run. So I hope you like this strategy because it's really easy. And uh, you know, I've tried uh, so many different ways and this was the easiest way for me. I hope uh, you like it. And it helps somebody out there trying to beat Yaglith. Since he's he's definitely a tough boss, like the previous boss, the uh, dragon uh, in the mountains. I forgot her name, but she was really easy. I mean, she was just sitting there chilling, you know, while I shoot her with uh, fire arrows. <laughs> that's that's all she did. She just flies around, hits a couple uh, a couple of hits. These frost. Uh, bombs and then sits down on the ground and you know takes the hits it was a really nice boss the modder yeah the modder boss it was really easy so we gotta come back here and uh, heal up wait for our meads Seven seconds, five seconds, four, three, two, one. Now we can take the meats again. And go back to fighting. There we go. And he's almost half health now. So as you can see, left hand. Just make sure, you know, the left hand just run. Left hand. His left hand. So, <laughs> some people have a problem with like, you know, uh, right and left hands. So it's his left hand so this is the one he just raised is his right hand <laughs> yeah some people just can't get it you know <laughs> like I have friends that don't you know they don't get it like left and right like my right your right yeah it just doesn't click at all <laughs> yeah so look at this. This is his right hand. So now we attack. Attack him. And when you attack from his uh, left side, when he raises his right hand, you attack from the left side. You you are, you can get really really close because most of the blue orb is on his uh, right side. Oh, here's a fueling chasing us. 
so yeah any like death skeetos or fuelings like this just parry him and hit him with these claws and he'll 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 die really fast so parry and look how much damage we do 200 crazy damage with these claws i mean it's going to be my favorite armor from now on this Fenris armor just awesome okay we take the meads and let's go for him hello there buddy where did your legs go <laughs> He has no legs. And yeah, sometimes you get stuck underneath him like I just did. Yeah, I just try to get out because yeah, sometimes he just leans on you and uh, you can't move. You know, when we died uh, last time, he just leaned on us and I just glitched inside of him somehow and I couldn't move. So. My stamina was drained, I was trying to jump and couldn't run away from his uh, fire attacks. Killed me. But yeah, when you have a teleporter and a bed, you're good to go. So you just respawn and come back. Hello, buddy. Yeah, how is he moving? I mean, he has no legs. <laughs> He's just crawling on his hands. <laughs> Poor guy. I mean, he's a boss. They sh he should uh, get these uh, fuelings to make him some robotic uh, legs or something. <laughs> We're in 2023, buddy. Get some AI legs installed. So now we're hiding, I'm uh, using uh, stealth mode, crouching. So when I'm crouching, he can't see me and he can't use his attacks. So it's a really good uh, way to uh, make him not see you and stop attacking. Until you take your stamina and health meads and then you go attack. So it's a good uh, way, like when you stand up, he sees you. But when you're crouching, he's not. He's, he doesn't see you. And we have our Ichthyr ability now, again. And there we go. Look at that. We got some good damage. Nice, nice, nice. There we go. Yeah, we got some pretty good hits on him this time. But we stayed <laughs> too much because. We had zero stamina, almost. But I, uh, definitely the Ichthyr ability helps. Yeah, and I'm not utilizing the rest bonus in my base. I should definitely utilize the resting bonus. If I want to do it like again, I would definitely do that. Get my rested bonus. On top of the all the... <laughs> All the stuff we're using and we're using like health meads, stamina meads, all types of good uh, recipes ichthyr ability and we're barely surviving this beast <laughs> yeah my health is down so I'm gonna go down here a little And wait for the meads to reset. Throw away this crap, the stone. And as you can see, we went through the first 10 uh, stamina and health meads. Finished up the first 10, so now we're working on our second uh, set. So we just used one, I think we use one more of each, and then we kill him. But yeah, I, I, like, I used 12, 
12 stamina needs, medium ones, and the uh, 12 health needs for this boss fight. So yeah, definitely bring uh, at least 12. I mean, they're gonna cost you a little, but hey, you know, this boss is not easy. You gotta, you gotta pay some <laughs> uh, prep, you know, costs to get him done. So, right hand, oh man, that was a lot of damage. And there we go, we got pretty good hits on him again. I think one more uh, attack and he's done. He's gonna be done, but I'm gonna go heal up. My health is 35 or so. So yeah, when it gets to 30, uh, below, I mean, yeah, below like 60, you got you gotta heal up. Either hide behind behind the structures that we built, that we raised from the ground, or uh, come back to base like this and heal up and then go back to him. It's not worth it really uh, pushing it to the last minute to go heal. Yeah, just put like a, you know, a marker below 60, uh, you know, just get away. Get away and heal. There we go, we got our meads, our food, and let's go for the final push. Hello there buddy, I know you're, you're not happy. <laughs> you're miserable I bet, man, there you go, I just released your soul to hell. <laughs> So we've done it and we're burning too, you know, uh, even after everything. So this is the Agluth uh, trophy. And we get the uh, three uh, Yagluth, what are, they, what are they called? Spirit, Torn Spirit, that m we make a fountain uh, from. And we got the trophy to put on the altar. Uh, and uh, now we can make the fountain, that uh, the wasp fountain, to go to the mistlands. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you like, share, and subscribe for future videos. See you next time.